Good evening class, my name is Chris Bechtel. I'm um, 33 years old. I'm a Texas native, born and raised here in Fort Worth, Texas. I currently live in the Mid-Cities area near DFW Airport. I have attached a collage of six photos that each tell you a little bit about me and I want to go through those photos one by one as an introductory speech to give you a little bit insight of who I am. The first photo uh, on the top left will be a photo of my two boys, that's Nolan and Ethan. Uh, those are my two sons. I'm very fortunate to have two boys, and uh, while I would have loved having little girls as well, I'm very thankful that I had I've had two boys. Uh, you may notice uh, that uh, there is a big age group, uh, or excuse me, age difference between them. Uh, Ethan's the oldest; he's uh, 15 years old, and Nolan, the youngest, he is six years old. Uh, you may also be thinking, "Wow, you have a 15-year-old. You don't look like you're old enough to have a 15-year-old." Well, that would be because I turned 18 uh, years old, and a month later, Ethan was born, and uh, that would explain why I have a son that's, uh, you know, uh, almost a, a young man himself. Um, you'll also notice that there is a giant age difference between my two boys, and that's because when Ethan was born, I quickly realized that, wait a second, uh, being a parent is tough, it's not always fun, it's challenging, and it requires, you know, responsibility. I'm, I know I'm preaching to the choir here to all the parents out there, but, and, uh, you know, it's also it can be very, very uh, tough financially. So, uh, you know, it was nine years uh, that passed before I felt I was ready to expand the family. And that would explain why there's such a, a huge gap between, between my two boys. But I love them both uh, dearly. And they uh, um, are part of every decision I make every single day, whether they know it or not. The second image you'll see on the top is a photo uh, from my website. Um, I own and operate a photo booth uh, company that uh, provides a service um, for my clients who, um, you know, when they're throwing an event, whether it's a wedding, a prom, a quinceanera, a uh, bachelorette party, a birthday, graduation, uh, you name it, photo booths are extremely popular right now. And... Uh, you know, we show up on site with an open air design and uh, our guests are able to have on site printing uh, and access to um, a whole slew of uh, props to have a bunch of photos and have a lot of fun. Uh, kind of interesting, the first time I saw a photo booth, I was at a wedding as well and I thought that this was really cool. I thought that it was uh, something that definitely added an, an additional layer of fun to, to, the, uh, to the wedding that I was at. And I thought it might be something I was interested in. So I started doing my research and uh, found what I felt was like the best booth available. And uh, and uh, bought the booth and bought some business cards and set up the website and just started uh, uh, one day at a time. And before you know it, Fun Snaps Photo was uh, created and uh, we've been uh, doing photo booth events ever since. So uh, the third image from the uh, from the left, the, the top right image is me in an aircraft. I'm actually in, in the second command seat of a um, Cirrus SR-22. So that's C-I-R-R-U-S for any of you who might be interested. It's actually a really cool aircraft uh, that has a built-in parachute uh, on the very top. So if you were to get in an emergency situation that you didn't feel like you could recover from, you could reach up and actually pull a lever and a parachute would come out of the top of the aircraft and lower the entire airplane down in one piece with you inside of it. So it's a safety feature that's built in. Um, I, I don't have my private pilot's license yet, but that picture, uh, what it represents is my passion for flying, uh, my passion for aviation in, uh, in general, and also uh, you know, my intention uh, to pursue a private pilot's license. Uh, the bottom image on the left is me next to uh, a Lamborghini. Uh, this actually was a pretty fun day um, out in Crescent. They do they have a racetrack out there, and you can uh, you know rent these these uh, these automobiles and take them around the track a handful of times, and uh, it's just a really good experience. But what that image is representing is my passion for uh, for for cars, for fast cars, Mustangs. Specifically, I do apologize for any uh, bow tie lovers out there. I have uh, owned Mustangs since I was 16 years old. I've probably owned no less than 50 or 60 of them. I've built them from scratch. I've parted them out. I've bought them and just drove them and enjoyed them. Uh, you can actually see some Mustang 
uh, memorabilia on the wall right above my hand right there. I have a, a clock that makes different Mustang sounds at the top of each hour. So that's representing my, my passion for fast cars, my passion for the automobile. Uh, the middle image on the bottom is a uh, Southwest Airlines 737. Uh, this is very much a part of uh, who I am. I'd have to take you back about 10 or 11 years ago when I got a job with a retail company. It was an entry-level job. Um, the, the ads seemed to have a, a pretty decent pay, uh, and I thought that it might be a good opportunity. And fast forward 11 years later, I was uh, very successful, but I was still in the retail industry, and I wanted to uh, pursue my dream and pursue my passion for aviation. So about three years ago, I started planning and uh, obtained my dispatcher's license and uh, started uh, getting a little bit of experience in that field and uh, I recently was able to join the team uh, with Southwest Airlines and it's something I'm very proud of. Uh, the bottom right image is self-explanatory. That's me outside uh, the Opera House in Sydney. Um, it's representing my love for travel. I've been to some pretty cool places, um, but I wouldn't quite label myself a world traveler just yet. There's many places that I would love to uh, love to see, and uh, hopefully my flight benefits at Southwest will will help me uh, achieve some of those. But you know, I've been to uh, the Arctic Circle. I've uh, seen Stonehenge. Um, I've uh, gone fishing uh, in um, uh, Northwest Territory, Canada, and then I've, I've been to Australia, obviously, and uh, you know, a couple a couple other places that I've been. And uh, traveling is something that I enjoy very much and something that I hope to experience uh, more and more as I uh, dive further into my career with Southwest. So um, that's uh, about it. Six minutes isn't a whole lot of time to tell you everything about me, but uh, it is a start. And if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to post up and I'll respond to those ASAP. I appreciate your time. Thank you.